I feel like we've been nice enough. Excuse me, I'm going to take a sip. Let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm warming up, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Brendan, let's talk about last night. I don't even want to talk about the stuff in between because at this point, our listeners really don't care. Mm-hmm. We need to understand what happened last night. Becca and I talked about this a little bit last week on the podcast. Yeah. We are personally tired of the narrative of the person who comes on the show mm-hmm. and makes it far enough only to leave on their own. It doesn't make any sense. And we ask you, you know, did you watch the show before? I I wasn't an avid, I didn't watch the show before either, but mm-hmm. I know the show ends in an engagement. And since my season and Becca's season, the show ends in boyfriend and girlfriend. So now yeah. the rules are just kind of up in the air. You don't have to get engaged. Everyone watching is trying to understand why you would take it this far and then pull yourself out because it was very obvious that Tasha was into you. I mean, after your first date, she was like, that's it. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's Brendan. Um, I don't understand why you would, would take it that far if you knew you weren't ready. Yeah, no, that's an absolutely great question and, and very understandable why, why people would want to know. Um, and for me, what I set out to do since day one was just be myself and, and be genuine and, um, live each and every moment, um, you know, as, and be as true as I possibly can be. Um, and going into this crazy experience and journey, um, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I didn't know if this would work for me. Um, and, and, you know, finding, uh, Tasha um, as amazing and beautiful as she was and that connection was true and, and really there, um, you know, I was going to take it day by day. And, and as I move farther along into the process, um, I try to be as true to myself and not um, do anything for any other reasons, any, any other factors, outside factors. So um, as amazing as Tasha was, I wanted to do something that um, wasn't going to in the long run hurt her. Um, in the long run, be worse than the moment of what we saw last night. Um, So I think the biggest takeaway for me was um, I know I want the family. I know I want a wife and children. um, But knowing and being completely ready was something I discovered that there was a little gap there. There was a little gap um, that... I need to close at some point and, and I need to figure that out for myself. Um, and knowing that I am not a complete man and I, and I've been through that relationship before and I've been married, um, and understanding and being okay with, with not being entirely okay. Uh, and being okay with, um, you know, looking at someone that's so beautiful and amazing and, and saying that, um, you know, this seemingly, could work and this, this could be an amazing thing for us. Um, but I don't want to hurt you any more than this moment will down the road. Um, so, um, yeah, it was, it was really, really tough. I'm not gonna, not gonna act like it was, uh, it was an easy decision, um, clearly, but it was, um, you know, I have this beautiful, amazing woman right in front of me. And, uh, for some reason, that I still wrestle with today. Um, you know, I self-sabotage the moment. Um, you know, I, uh, was protecting myself in a sense, you know, I was protecting myself, um, from getting hurt. And, and, uh, you know, as, as corny as that is, as stupid as that sounds, um, you know, I, I have been married before and, uh, I feel like it would be a disservice to Tasha in a way if I went into an engagement and I got down on one knee um, and I wasn't completely a hundred percent all in and ready. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah. 